With home ownership rates at 50 year lows, home prices up, a slowing of new home construction, the US is becoming a country of renters, which also means landlords. In 2016, 37% of all homes sold nationally were non-owner occupied homes. This includes second homes, flips, and investors. Landlords are playing a large role in the housing market, as you probably already know. After the housing crash in 2008, homes were picked up for cheap by investors to be used as rentals and for other reasons. But as home prices have begun rising steadily, real estate investment declined slightly by 2.9% last year. The smaller investors, especially those who have already paid off their mortgages on their primary residences see rental properties as an attractive way to save for retirement and continue to build wealth. In areas with tight inventory and a seller's market environment, the investment purchase has dropped off significantly, whereas communities like Dallas, where the median home price was $201,000 at the end of last year, the non-owner-occupied housing prices doubled over the past 12 years. Whether the rise of the rental landlord is a positive development, that's still to be seen as they fill a need that exists because of the low home ownership rates. But they may be crowding out first time home buyers that can't compete with investors in bidding wars. You know, of course, long term ownership is the key to real estate wealth. We all know that. If investors buy decent properties and hold them forever, that's going to provide the highest likelihood that their real estate is going to have significant equity increases down the road especially if they pay down the principal and continue to grow equity. If you have rental investors looking to buy, they're going to look for properties in decent shape, cash flow positive in areas that attract the type of renters that are, they're going to be looking for and in areas where home values are increasing, not stagnant. Lastly, they should pencil out deals and have a long-term ownership plan. Hopefully it's going to translate into a nice cash flow picture over the years that can take them into retirement. Now for minding your own business. PowerPoint isn't new and most of us know how to use it. Here's a feature though that you may not know how to use or that you already have. You can actually create a video or MP4 movie with PowerPoint. Yep, it's another easy way to produce video as YouTube. First, create your PowerPoint telling your story, whether it's about a home for sale or about a neighborhood. Use your slide transitions and set them to change every say one to two seconds, you know, just as long as you want them to see that particular image and slide. You can use animation to bring in elements of a slide too. Make it intriguing and fun, add humor when possible, use the power of curiosity and keep your audience engaged. Once you have your PowerPoint the way you want it, save it, and go to save as and change the file to MPEG4, the MPEG4 video and save. There, you have a video from your PowerPoint. Now you can upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever tool you like to use and send it out to your database using whatever tool you like to. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.